Hi everyone, today we're going to be replacing the lamp for our Epson uh, home projector here. Well, we're turning it on now, I'm going to hit the power button to get it fired up. Um, as you'll see here, as it tries to start, uh, our, our lamp uh, light will flash on and off, um, indicating that it's time to replace the lamp. So today we're going to be working on the Epson Powerlight Home Cinema 8700UB uh, projector here. Okay, so as you can see here, um, we turned it on, we waited for it to warm up here, but you can see we've got this red flashing light here at the lamp, indicating that the lamp needs replacing. So what we want to do now is we want to make sure that the projector is unplugged, which we've removed the power. We'll go ahead and remove any other cables that are plugged into it. And then we just flip the power switch here to make sure that's off. And then we're going to want to go ahead and remove the projector from the, the mount there. So we're going to use some pliers here to loosen up our uh, the screw in the side. We've always tried to ensure that it was nice and tight in there. And so uh, we're going to go ahead and, and loosen it up here um, so that we can remove it. And you're also going to want to ensure that you secure the bottom of the projector there. Um, we have some additional on our on our uh, mount here. You have to push some buttons before it will drop, but I don't want to risk the projector falling, so I'm going to go ahead and ensure that it's secured underneath. Once you get that screw removed, place that somewhere you're not going to lose it, and then we have one more step in removing it. What we're going to want to do now is uh, squeeze these two. You'll see these little buttons here on either side. We're going to go ahead and just push those in. Looks like this one's stuck on this side here. What we did next is we've taken the projector and put it on a blanket here for some padding and for some stability now while we work on it. Um, and you're going to want to check that or ensure that the projector has been off for about an hour to make sure that the, the lamp isn't currently hot. All right, the next thing we want to do here is remove the cover um, so that we can replace the lamp. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a flathead, this little mini flathead screwdriver, um, and, and put it in this, uh, in this slot here. And you put a little bit of pressure on that, and it should just pop right open like that. Once we have uh, this cover removed, we'll slide that out of the way. Um, there's two screws that are holding the lamp in place. Um, you'll notice there's one right here. I'm touching now, and then just this one over here. And we're going to go ahead and unscrew those, but, but please note that they don't come all the way out. Now what we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and grab the little handle here and pull the lamp out. Um, something you should note, that there's mercury in the lamp and that you can't just throw it in your garbage. You're going to need to check with your local uh, state laws on proper disposal of this type of product. So we just went ahead and bought ourselves a new lamp online um, and as you're removing it and as you're handling it, you're going to want to make sure you have gloves on because the oils in your hands can, can damage the lamp and reduce the, the lifespan of the, the lamp. We'll go ahead here and just take a look at it. It looks like it's in good order and uh, we'll go ahead and throw it in the, go ahead and throw it in the projector. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to go ahead and, and uh, install the new lamp. You'll notice that there's these grooves on the side of the lamp that uh, correspond with some slots down here next to where we're going to screw it in. So we're going to want to make sure that those match up and the screws match up with the holes uh, where they were uh, previously. So we'll go ahead and put this guy in now. Make sure it lines up there. You'll want to make sure also that it's facing the same direction. Um, as when you remove it so that the, the bulb is facing, again, that correct direction. So once that's in place, we're going to go ahead and tighten these screws um, back down here. So we'll go ahead and do that. And make sure that those are snug. Once that's in place, we're going to go ahead and take this cover and uh, pop that back on. That should just pop on there and then should click into place and then we're ready to throw that back up. Alright, so as we reinstall it, we just we want to 
uh, line the brackets back up. We're going to push it up until we can get those buttons um, back in. We're going to have to probably squeeze them so we can get them past that groove there. It's kind of a chore, but um, you're going to probably see an extra pair of hands. We're just going to play with it until it gets into the right place. Like that. There we go. So once we uh, have those buttons in place of that the mounting bracket, we're going to go ahead and put that screw back in place and tighten it as much as we can by hand. Um, and then we'll kind of finish the job off with some pliers. Now that that's uh, mounted again, we're going to go ahead and plug everything back in. So we'll go ahead and plug our power in here. HDMI back in. And then flip our power switch back on. All right, with everything back online, we're going to go ahead and push the power button here and get it going again. So now that we've powered it back on, it looks like it's up and running and uh, working well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to walk you through how to reset the timer on the projector so you know how, how much usage this new lamp is getting. So in order to check our lamp usage hours here, we're going to hit the menu button. And then it will pull up uh, a different an option menu here. And we're going to go down to info. And there you can see lamp hours. So ours is only at 976, which is less than half of what uh, the typical lamp hour should typically last about 2,000 hours, or at least that's the, the new one that we ordered. So um, in order to reset it, we'll uh, go down here and uh, go over to reset lamp hours here. Okay, so now that we or at the reset lamp hours option, we're going to go ahead and hit enter. And then it's going to prompt us, are you sure you want to reset this, uh, this setting? Go over to yes, you'll see the, the little icon there, and then hit enter. And then that should uh, reset it. And we'll go ahead and scroll up to, let's see, let's get out of this. And then we'll scroll up to info. And uh, we'll sh as, it, as you can see, it says zero lamp hours have been used, so we're all reset. And then that concludes uh, our reinstalling of the new lamp in our projector today.